Pros versus Joes. The eight final Joes must score a takedown against 100 defenders before they can take on Rod Woodson, Antonio Davis, and Purnell Sweet P. Whitaker. Stop your nonsense. Best defensive boxer of all time, arguably. I'm gonna ride your ass all night long, boy. I love it. I love it. When you disrespect somebody in sports, there's always a slight homophobic edge to it, right? There's always that little bit of like, you know, I'm gonna ride you till the cows go home. It's like, all right, why? Why would you want to do that? Oh my God! <laughs> See what I mean? What's cracking, everybody? I'm Petrus Pat. Yep. What's cracking? Oh, he's got energy for days. I mean, cocaine involved with it? Cocaine? Cocaine? Maybe. We are down to our final eight Joes. And all of these Joes got through their brackets and earned their way here. Donnie Frazier. I remember Donnie Frazier. Jason Vogel. I remember Jason Vogel. He was tough. For two of you, the road ends right here. It's time for sudden death. This is how it's going to work. All you got to do is pick up that football and take it to the house. Wait, there's gotta be a catch. You can't tell me that it's gonna be that simple. But since nothing comes easy on pros versus Joes. Son of a bitch, Papatakis. You know it's just more than running from end zone to end zone, right? You gotta get past these guys. How many fucking people? It's an army. And they scream. Hell no. You got these guys. Jesus. What the f And these guys. We gotta end this. But no, we got these guys. Papa Dakis, you <laughs> evil <laughs> son of a bitch. When does this end? What the f are we gonna do? Half of the yard is guys. Half of the whole football field is these guys. I can score on 100. Let's do it. You know how all the Joes talk confidently during these little bits? It's it. Producer probably tells them. You know what I'm doing? Ah! Oh, Papadagas! What's cracking? My fucking my back, man. I don't know what happened. It just seized up on me. Are you sure, Mr. Williams? Paps, would I lie to you about this? My back just I gotta go. I gotta go. My back is broken, Papadakis. I'm getting out of there, man. I ain't playing games for 100 guys. What am I made out of steel? Be one of the first six to cross the goal line, and your fight continues. Be one of the last two, and all you've earned up to this point means nothing. Steve, what's your strategy? Okay, I'm gonna let all the Joes run out first. I'm gonna wait so that they're occupied, right? All the football players are being occupied with Joes, and then I'm gonna just skirt around the bodies. That's what I'm doing. You don't wanna be in front. That's why, because concussions, right? You don't wanna be in the front because short and lifespan. There's Joe like on the first on the on the one yard line, just getting crushed. Schaefer, Schaefer with the legs of life. Schaefer. Oh man, that's a stinger. Donnie Frazier's a beast. I remember Donnie Frazier. Poor, yo, I was kind of rooting for David Ortiz. He had the head of a football player, but man, he's getting no love. Oh, Jesus! So. Oh. Frazier might be going to the hospital. Oh, damn. Get under the chin with a helmet. Just kind of slaps me open underneath. We'll just move on to the next round, see what what comes next. Donnie's out getting stitches, but I know the rest of you must be feeling pretty good about yourselves right now. Not as good as you look with those pants. Rob Woodson. Let's go, Woody. What's going on? High school officer right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty funny. I'll always have a smile on my face. You be flat on your back with a smile on your face. Six foot nine inch scoring machine. This is Antonio Davis. Let's go, Antonio Davis. In 2006, he was inducted into the International Boxing. Let's go. That's why we're here, by the way. 40 wins with 17 knockouts. Named Ring Magazine's Fighter of the Year. Show some respect. For Purnell, Sweet Pea, Whitaker. Put some respect on his name. Let's go, Sweet Pea, baby. One of the greats, all-time greats. You guys got this one. 17 losses, right? No, 17 knockouts. Oh, <laughs> oh god damn. Be competing against the pros in each matchup. You win a matchup, and you're moving on to the finals. The three Joes who don't win a matchup will battle it out against all three pros in overtime. The Joe with the best time will move on to the finals. The four finalists will compete against three new pros, and one of you will be named the last Joe standing and walk away with a hundred grand. 
Papadakis, I don't understand what we're doing. That was too much instruction. If four guys come in, one guy will stay. We'll do a round robin, and, and essentially it's a shark tank for a new Joe, and then an old Joe will take paramount position over the old Joe. Simple instructions are best. Simple instructions like subscribe, hit the like button for this channel. It helps us very much, so I appreciate you guys. See, nice and simple. Let's get it cracked. You're gonna catch a swing pass out of the backfield. You gotta run it down the lane along the sideline. Woodson is gonna be coming over to make the tackle. Whoever gains the most in two downs is moving on to the final. Goody, you're up first. You ready to go? Ready. Get out there. Uh-oh. And there it is. Good one with a catch. Takes the oh. sideline and he is out of bounds. Right out. Joe Goody with a gain of three yards on first down. Clayton Monty from Detroit. He's a good cop with a bad attitude. Oh, he's a cop? Here we go. We're taking his legs out. Like I told you, right for the knee. You're going to be walking the beat, catching perps with one leg. Team Money is our trampoline acrobat from Phoenix Suns home game. That's an incredible athletic ability, though, that these guys have. Madsen trying to put on a move. He still got him down, but I think he did. I think he did all right, though. He did better than the other guys, I guess. Damn. Donnie Frazier has a high tolerance for pain. He went from the football field to the hospital, and now he's back on the he's ground. He's tough. First down. Donnie Frazier is running out, Donnie trying to get past the 20. Whoa! Oh, Beats him there. Oh, out of bounds. Oh, dude. Not dance the line. Donnie Frazier with a three-yard game. Hanafi, by the way, was also the MVP of his high school football team. Sometimes being short has his perks, game. though. Game Got that low action. center of gravity. He's going to look to cut through. Never mind. My man hits the knees. Our number one seed, Derek Schaefer, 6'2", 225, played football for the University of Wisconsin Lacrosse. First down. Wait, what? He paid football for a lacrosse. Huh? Oh, 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 oh. He goes out of bounds. He had a good chance, man. He had a good shot. I know that the football player is going for my knees. I'm just doing an old school Super Mario jump. I'm just jumping straight up. Like when your head hits the bricks, I'm just like, boing. But only has got two yards. Tied for last place right now. Yo, Schaefer, you got to make moves, boy. Schaefer catches the ball. Woods to close the difference. Schaefer. Beautiful takedown. Excellent. Gabriel Canopy in the cell phone business in Lebanon, Missouri. Oh, Gabe trying to give a move. So short. So short. So short that he can just break through the anything, basically. He fits into small cracks. The assistant high school basketball coach from Wise, Virginia. Take this motherfucker out. You can't let Frazier get by you again. You know, this is getting ridiculous now. Come on, Woodson. Frazier didn't even get started. He wanted to make up for Frazier being able to get as far as he did last time, and he kneecaps him. Second down for Trent Madsen. He got seven yards on first down. Woodson makes the hit. Woodson, you ain't going nowhere but down. Come on. He said, come on. Hits him with a sumigeshi. Beautiful. Excellent sumigeshi on the football field. That is a first. Yeah, we got to get some blood. We got to see some blood now. Oh, God damn, Pernell. I want to see his body dead and riding. Oh, trying to put a move on. Oh. Get down. Give me a shirt and get down. Goody, you're up next. You need seven yards to tie, eight yards to win, or Trent Madsen's going to the finals. Here we go. Coach Goody makes the catch. One set. He did it. Wow, beautiful. Wow, he just did a little bit of that chicken neck and was able to get underneath that grip. There is still life, there is still a chance, and it's coming on the hardwood against Antonio Davis. Let's get a crack it. Let's get a crack it. In this matchup, you will battle him for rebound. You snatch those rebounds and hit the outlet passes. The game ends when Antonio hits five targets. Whoever's got the most up to that point is going on to the finals. Here we go, Trent Madsen. Hey, oh man, he moves well too. And connects with the target. Too much. Yo, you saw the legs? You saw the legs when he threw it in? He had his little legs kicking around, prancing around. Put your body on it. Davis pulls it down. Dribbling. Not on the same level. Finds the target. Yes! That's it, man. Davis on fire. Madsen's got position, dribbling, jumps, puts it Damn, in. good job by uh, Madsen there. On, Two targets. Davis, oh, oh. unable to pull it down. Madsen with the rebound. Yo, Madsen, get the fuck. Davis, you're out of here. You're done. He can tie it up here and done. All right, ties it up. Oh, Davis. All right, Davis is pulling ahead now. Oh, 
falls off. Oh, Manson oh. pulls it down. He's good, Manson though. Manson jumps. Davis pulls it down. Dribbles. He's an older gentleman. Oh. But he gets it. Manson. Davis at five. Clayton Monty, you're up next. Get out there. Let's go, baby. I feel like no one gives Clayton Monty any damn respect on the show. And um, I don't think he's going to get any right now either. It looks like he has a bum knee as well. One more and he's gone. Clayton Davis. Is that his name? Clayton Monty. He gave him one. He gave him one. One more and Antonio finishes Clayton Monty. Out of here, Clayton Monty. Nice to know you and all, but you know, you gotta go, right? Donnie's a gamer, though. He's a tough guy. I'm coming with the elbow right on that chin. Quick. Beautiful work by Davis. Donnie played some basketball for Berea College. No idea where that is. 102.5 Shade FM. He's got to get four. He wants to stay alive. Nice job by Donnie Frazier. Steals the ball. Can he score another one? Oh, beautiful lane to score again. Davis, stop playing games. I know he's getting a second win. So I'm 47. Give me a break here. You're out of here. Good job by Frazier. Take him for granted, baby. Good work. Oh, the rebound. The rebound. Dribbles. Oh man, he's so active. Kanapi is just, it's hard to keep up with the smaller ones. So agile, so nimble. Got him. As David said, though, as long as he can stay above uh, Kanapi, he'll have the advantage going into these exchanges. But okay, Davis with another one. He's ahead now. Davis, two more to go. And Kanapi's out. But if you miss, though, Kanapi's like a little squirrel. He's all over that ball. Kanapi, you small bastard. He's like a big truck, you know? He's like a giant 16-wheeler. He can take the lead with one more rebound. Balls up. Kanapi pulls it down. Dribbles. Puts it in. the lead. Don't sleep on the Kanap. AD comes up with it. All right. That's it. You know for a fact that he's telling his kids this is his claim to fame. Let me tell you something. You're a Kanapi, all right? You're a Kanapi. You were raised by a Kanapi. We have the Kanapi bloodline. Height is not a big deal. It's not a defining factor. You saw what I did on Pro vs. Joe's, okay? So relax. I want you to walk with your chin high. Each of you will last one two-minute round with Sweet Pea. We have a raff and judges from the California Boxing Commission. They will determine who did the best against Sweet Pea. That person moves on to the finals. Clayton, you're up first. You ready to go? Yep. Get out there. <laughs> this kid looks so sad. Yep. He's getting brought to the gallows right now. Okay, they come out. Working his offense against Purnell. Clayton. Trying to land clean shots. Really a boxer. Significant oh. size advantage. Beautiful. Look at that movement. Oh, beautiful left hand lead. Look at the left hand lead. Guess you lose a cop in Detroit. You think he'd fight a little better? <laughs> He's a cop in Detroit. You think he would fight a little better? Man, throwing shade, Pat. Oh, beautiful. He hit him with a beautiful two. Turned him off the hook to get his back off the ropes. That's just clean. Come on, Lou. Oh, a beautiful. He always shifts his head to the outside and touches him with the left straight. Like, watch all the subtleties that, that Sweet Pea uses. Not to mention, when you get him real close, he does such a good job of getting his head right in your chest. You're not able to land uppercuts and hooks. Sweet Pea's having fun. Clayton looks gasped, but still standing toe to toe. Can't touch him. Sweet Can't touch him. That's exhausting, by the way. And that is it. That is it. Red Madison, you ready? Let's go, Pea. Oh, he's going to get pieced up. Here we go. Oh, Madison. Madison, right left, right left. Come on, Sweet Pea. Oh, he's nervous. Oh, he's not a fighter. Look at him. Look at his stance. He's goofy. Oh, just a fundamental. He, he fights like a cartoon character. He just hobbles in all awkward and shit. And the thing is, when you're new and you've never you've never boxed before, and you're boxing with someone who's an amateur or pro, just come respectful with it, man. Like, not saying he's punching hard because he can't punch hard, but he's just being over aggressive in his body language and his energy, and it's gonna get him hurt. I mean, I don't know if he's gonna get hurt in this, but I wouldn't be surprised. Sweet Pea with the uppercut, beautiful. Steps off. Oh, that's a hard left straight. He doesn't want to hurt him. Oh, another one, another one. And that's it. Donnie Frazier. Nine stitches in his chin. I'm punching him right in the chin. He's covering the chin. He comes out like this. And here we go. 
Ooh. Nice right hand. See, see, uh, Purnell knows that he's a much bigger guy and he has to be a little more responsible. He's hurting him. Left, right, left, right. 30 seconds in. Shoe shine to the body. Shoe shining to the body with his head on the shoulder. Go into the body to slow Frazier down and to get those hands to drop. Good movement. Good movement. Oh, man. Sweet pee. <laughs> He's just slinging shots. So just for the non-fighters watching, Purnell's just having a good time. He's doing a drunken style of boxing, which we would never suggest to try or to train. It's, it's him having fun. This is a world-class pro his whole life. So he's just winging shots. But, you know, you don't want to mimic that if, if, you're, if you're naive to what you're watching. Final two minutes of Sweet Pea, Derek Schaefer. That's big. It's a big cat. Doesn't mean you can fight, but uh, generally you can sustain damage more. And, uh, you know, you generally have more force behind your punches. Schaefer. Schaefer's being really, really skittery and, and spazzy, you know? He's going to get hurt. So he's leading with his chin. He's doing this, and he's leading with his chin. He's so desperate to land punches. The issue when you do that is you're so eager to punch, you're not thinking defense. And that's when you get countered. <laughs> the, refs, the refs, like, you don't, don't do illegal things, huh? Ten seconds left. Sweet Pete, don't get that get out there. Derek Schaefer got his arms raised like he's the champ, and that is Schaefer, you're 225 pounds, bro. You just got punched in your face for two minutes straight. Stop raising your hands. Our number one seed, Derek Schaefer. Okay. Size matters, man. That's all that is. Congratulations. There is room for one more. As you know, this is your last shot. You'll be facing all three pros in their sport. The Joe with the best time will move on to the finals. The Joe with the best time punches their ticket to the finals. Clayton, you're up first. Ready? Get out there. Here we go. Clayton is going to land five punches on Whitaker. What was that? What? What? What did I just watch? I didn't even register that. He's at 22, 22 seconds, seconds is pretty damn basket. fast. Remember, you gotta knock away three balls as Antonio Davis tries to box you out. I'm just gonna slam my knee into his. That's what I'm doing if I'm Davis. Right now, I'm just gonna lift my heel up and just slam it into his patella. Ah, oh, Clayton got the first ball. That's the, he went under. He went under. He went under the leg. Resourceful. Clayton is doing almost anything to get those balls. Look at Clayton. He went to the gooch. He put his hand in between the legs, went to the balls in the gooch area. That's that's very inventive. Anything to get those balls. Moving very slow. He's losing a lot of time during the run. 232 is the time. His for legs are shot. He's down and getting changed for football. He's Body runs his pattern, cuts in. Got it. He's in. Respect, obviously. The football player is not really going as hard as he could be. We know that, right? Good job. A lot of heart, man. A lot of heart. Here we go. What are you doing, Madsen? What are you doing, Madsen? What is happening? What is going on? There he goes. He's got his five. The athleticism of a drunken bird. Just who I've been waiting for. What's up, AD? Fred Madsen is underway. He's trying. Oh. Nice work. Madison very, very good. Number one. Antonio Davis just hip checking Trent Madsen. <laughs> Nice. Trent Madsen is a hard worker, you could tell. He gets it done. Um, now, this last one. Oh, ducks. Excellent work. Ron Woodson's being a gentleman. He's not, you know, going all in. Madsen gets snatched up. There's the ball. Oh, maybe he is a little bit more. He doesn't have a football background, this guy. He jumps on trampolines or something for a living. Look at him. He doesn't know what he's doing. That bump coverage is a bitch with Ron Woodson. That's There's me playing pass. football. I mean, I'd be a little bit better than this guy, not to insult him, but... Come on, Trent! Not much better. Here he goes again. He's oh, exhausted. that's the worst run I've ever seen in my life. Let's go! Yo, they're not going to let him live. They're going to eliminate this guy. He's falling apart in the football. He's still going to win. He's going to win with a max out? Or he's going to beat this guy with a max out? they got to finish it, Trent. Finish it up with a final time of... 
Tell me he beat him. Three minutes and 17 seconds. Oh. Trent Madsen Woo. eliminates Cashew Lou. Madsen Peace out, Cashew Lou. Donnie's been gutting it out all night with a busted chin. Donnie's tough. And here we go. Clock's ticking on Donnie oh. Frazier. Oh. Donnie Frazier. That's it, Punch Donnie. it. He's got his five. Donnie's He's working. Good on time by Don. He's got a Don's moving fast Don legs, Frazier. Don has, right? Look at those down. feet. Frazier in at 17. 17. He shaved off a few seconds from the other guys. And Donnie Frazier has begun with Antonio Davis. You know what I'm doing? I'm foot sweeping Davis, you know? I'm dragging his hips towards me, and I'm taking his feet out from underneath. I'm putting Davis out. Permanent. I'm lifting that leg. I'm running the pipe. I'm going single leg. I'm running the pipe. That's awesome. Good good speed by Frazier. Frazier's on the move now. Donnie Frazier down. At two minutes flat. He has a football background. I give him the edge going into this last uh, last event here. Here we go. There's a snap. Oh, nice move by Frazier. No, he's being the ball's up. No. Oh. Saving his energy. Runs. Breaks inside. Slant pattern. Way off. Ooh, what was that about? Smart, smart guy. One. He can't even do it. Yo, Woodson's not even covering you. I'm so surprised he got Max. So surprised. Shot. What? With final time of 311 is Donnie Frazier's time. They win? Don, Don Frazier. Don Frazier. I don't know if you guys think you could have done well on Pros vs. Joes. It's a fucking tough show. Leave a like and subscribe and make sure to check out one of my playlists that are about to pop up now.